Okay, beloveds, let's continue with the revelations that was given to me by Yah concerning Planet X. Now, in this one particular experience, I remember that the elites were having a secret meeting, and this meeting was taking place in one of their underground secret facilities. Now, Yah had placed me in the midst of them undercover, like a spy. And I remember that we were in a fancy meeting room with chairs and a podium at the front, and we were all seated. Now, I remember that the guy at the podium had asked this question. He asked, quote, Do any of you guys know what is our most valuable secret? And by saying our right here, he was speaking of the elites. And so when I heard the question, I immediately raised my hands to signal that I wanted to answer. And then he pointed at me, and I replied very loudly, Planet X. And then he answered, That's correct. Now, I've received this particular experience many years ago. Since then, Yah had revealed a great deal more to me concerning the Planet X cover-up and how they've gone through great lengths to keep it a secret. They've killed many innocent people, which includes some scientists and many whistleblowers. They've also spent trillions of dollars over the years on atmospheric chemicals, which they used to spray the skies in an attempt to hide these planets. But, beloveds, if you're asking yourself, why go through all this trouble to hide these planets? Why not just let people see them? Well, the answer is simple. These wicked ones prosper off lies and deceit. They get their power from illusions, or what is not so. And if people were to be able to see these planets, they would experience that which they fear the most, which is a loss of control. Yes, beloveds, I'm telling you the truth. The wicked ones would lose control over the masses, because they would then be exposed to the truth. And everyone, including themselves, knows that only the truth has the power to set people free. But I wonder, just how long did they imagine that a world built on lies and falsehoods would last? But anyhow, beloveds, let's go right into another experience. In this next experience, I saw a planet that was passing us, which I believe to be Planet X. Now, this planet was greatly damaged, and it was passing in very close proximity to the Earth. And as a result, it appeared very huge in the skies while it was passing us. Now, what was obvious and very clear to everyone that saw it was that it had four other moons or planets. I'm not sure what they were, but they were smaller than the initial planet itself. But they appear to be either very large moons or tiny planets that appeared to have crashed on the surface of this planet. So this planet had four moons that had crashed on the surface of it. And while it was passing, these moons, these spheres, appear to be attached to the initial planet itself. And so as a result, the surface of this planet appeared to be decimated and was undergoing an incredible catastrophe. And so this planet was experiencing great destruction. Now, beloveds, while we were watching this planet passing the Earth, we were experiencing a phenomenon. Millions and billions of rocks started to fall on the Earth. Now, these rocks were falling like rain, and I noticed that they weren't falling diagonally like meteors usually do, and they also weren't on fire. Hence why I said that they were falling like rain, with the majority of them being very small in size. And there were these brown-colored rocks, and they fell very heavily, like I said, in the billions. And so I find that experience to be very interesting. Now, in another vision, which I believe that I have already shared here on my channel, I saw that when Planet X passes their planet the major effects of it will start to affect the Earth from the north of our planet and heading downwards towards the equator. So places like Australia will experience this devastation before others. Now, beloveds, I've shared with you guys some of what I've seen and heard from Yah concerning this Planet X passing. Now, this is all I'm going to share for now concerning Planet X. I hope you guys go to the Lord and do some research and try to confirm some of the things that I've mentioned here. Now, may Yah bless and keep you all. Love from a brother in Christ.